Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this showcase video. Today we've got some awesome Brazen Claw Primaris Space Marines. Uh, this is an additional phase to some previous phases we've done for our clients. Uh, a vast swathe of infantry, uh, just loads and loads of awesome models for you to check out. They've all been painted by Niall, one of the artists here at Siege. Let's jump in and have a look at them in all of their quartered glory. Uh, so to start off with, three different units. Obviously we've got some um, Primaris Assault Intercessors, then we've got obviously some uh, infiltrators then we have some hell blasters at the back uh, so again a really nice selection of models uh, and let's jump in have a look um, so what I specifically like about this is something from one of the earlier phases is that the uh, the brazen claws uh, obviously are a quartered schemed chapter which means obviously they're half red half blue uh, and one of the beautiful things about them is that they have uh, different color lenses on their helms as you can see there so green on the right on the uh, red side and then red on the blue side really uh, just a little detail which I think is just really really nice can see that Niall's done a great job of just quartering these marines uh, into their sort of uh, patterns really nicely. Uh, they've all got sort of uh, sculpted shoulder pads as well sent in by uh, to the client uh, by the client to us uh, and you can see that Niall's done a great job of just uh, of adding all the little details onto these miniatures. Uh, the gold is nice and desaturated. We've got these really nice sort of super clean white gun casings on all the different areas of the uh, of the miniatures. Uh, just really really well executed. Uh, you get this super vibrant bright yellow crest on them as well really reminds me of sort of earlier editions of 40k uh, as well which I think is quite nice uh, all the leather work done across the model is obviously done in a black as well uh, with purity seals have got this lovely green kind of uh, uh, wax sort of seal on them and then obviously the text and everything has been fully painted onto those purity seals also uh, so yeah just really 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 well executed so that's just one of the assault intercessors we'll pull forward the sergeant so you can have a look at the sergeant uh, and again a really really clean super nice execution across this uh, quartered scheme which is uh, it's quite difficult to do and get uh, quite sharp as you can see now done a smashing job on this uh, again absolutely love that sort of green and red uh, lenses just on that helm there as you can see just the two different colors sort of uh, lenses on the quartered helm which I think works great it's even quartered or half the uh, the rebreather into red and blue which I just think is a lovely little touch as well uh, on the plasma glow you've got a, a really nice green as well so that just complements the red quite nicely uh, but you can see every little bit of detail fully painted on these awesome assault intercessors I'll pull forward a few more so you can have a look uh, again and these incessors are from the uh, the um, Indomitus box. Uh, so again, nice uh, sort of attacking running poses, which is really, really cool. Uh, you can see Niall's done a phenomenal job on these. I do love the white gun casings. I think they're just uh, really, really not a nice little touch and makes the model stand out quite nicely. Uh, as you can see, obviously, all the little buttons and dials on the wrists are all fully painted also, uh, which just works really, really well. So that's just uh, the Assault Incessors. Next up, we've got the Infiltrators. So again, uh, the Infiltrators are a great set of models from the uh, sort of, uh, I think these ones are either from the Shadow Spear box or these are the multi-part. Uh, but again, really, really well, uh, well well done on these obviously that quarter scheme you can see those green and red lenses there just on the um just on the helm painted really really well obviously those beautiful white gun casings that Niall's done but every little bit of detail fully painted on these guys uh, just to a super super clean finish across all of the miniatures so that's just one of the infiltrators uh, pull forward the comms guy which I really really like uh, just with those extra little bits of detail just on the uh, on the um uh, model so you've got obviously the screens and everything all fully painted there and again in a green with a nice kind of like uh, little red blips and things just on that screen and sort of uh, catch marks where the, uh, the the unit is scanning for targets and things which is really cool uh, so this is just the comms guy here but super cleanly painted all that sharp edge highlighting across the miniatures uh, the, the silver work is quite desaturated as well so it's not super super shiny which I think is quite good especially on infiltrating models um, again just have a look at another one of the standard infiltrators uh, just painted extremely extremely well and I I love the amount of gems and lenses that are on these as well. Just uh, these, this, they kind of, these remind me of kind of like the special forces of the uh, new Primaris um, sort of range. Uh, do really, really like them a lot. Uh, so that's some of the infiltrators. And then uh, to finish up, we've got the uh, awesome Hell Blasters. Uh, and again, these are absolutely brilliant uh, miniatures. You can see the really nice green sort of plasma energy glow just on those lovely white casings on those guns. And there's a really good look at the uh, the green and red lenses on those helms. I just think it works so well with a split scheme. Uh, adds a little bit more interest to the miniature, obviously having those two different lens colors, which I think is quite cool. Uh, and again, you can see sculpted pads on these that have been provided by the client. And we've obviously put those onto the miniature. 
signatures as requested. You've got the brazen claw chapter one there just on that shoulder. And then even on the rear, you can see that lovely sort of uh, half that scheme on that backpack, but obviously quartered on the actual miniature as well, which is just really, really well done. So that's this awesome, awesome uh, hell blaster. I'll pull forward the sergeant as we always are having a look at the sergeants from units as well. So again, got this awesome sergeant. Just uh, wasn't happy just with one plasma weapon, decided to pick up a second one as well. Uh, maybe he rolled one, uh, hence the arm. But yeah, really well executed by Niall. Uh, a lovely, lovely finish across all of the miniatures in this force. Uh, just again, just beautiful, beautiful brazen claws. We painted lots of brazen claws over the years and uh, it's a very, very cool scheme, that red and blue. Uh, I think the white gun casings just really, really help add another color to the palette. Uh, but yeah, this is just a sergeant for the Hellblasters. So I do hope that you like this uh, uh, this uh, sort of set of infantry we've got some specialist troops just to finish up uh, so they're coming up next and uh, if you're into snipers and melter you're going to be very happy so see you guys shortly So next we've got all of the specialist infantry from this awesome Brazen Claw force. So we've got three eliminators and then three eradicators. Uh, really, really well executed. So let's jump in, have a look. Um, and to follow the, the rest of the uh, infantry that you've seen already, uh, the same super consistent painting throughout with those lovely porcelain white gun casings that you've seen. Um, just really, really well executed. Uh, you obviously got the Brazen Claw pad there just on the shoulder. Got this really cool kind of ash waist urban camouflage uh, sort of uh, cloak that he's got, uh, which is really, really well done. So that's just uh, one of the eliminators. We'll pull forward the sergeant so you can have a look at him. Uh, again, really like the use of green on the sort of lenses and things across the uh, the force just to complement that red really nicely. Uh, and again, Niall's done a great job on these. And again, you've got that lovely, lovely sort of urban ash waist cloak there just on this chap. Um, and then we'll have a look at the final guy that's just taking a shot here, as you can see, while being crouched. Uh, again, really nicely executed, super clean painting throughout on all the areas of detail on this force. Uh, so that's just another one of the eliminators. Uh, then we've got the eradicators toting the uh, melter sort of weaponry that they carry. Uh, really, really uh, devastating infantry. You can see Niall's done a great job putting faith there on that scroll. Uh, and you can see that lovely quartered red and blue scheme that's just been exquisitely done across the miniatures. Uh, I do like that all the leather work is done in the black as well, just really looks nice. Uh, again, all the purity seals with the green that sort of uh, wax seal, which I think is really fitting and just complements that red really well. And then all the text and everything added onto those scrolls. Uh, so that's just one of the eradicators. Pull forward the next one, have a look at the sergeant last. Uh, got a slight sort of muzzle burn just on the barrels of these melters also. And again, as we just move around, you can see the really nice execution on all of their edging across the force. Uh, really nice, consistent, sharp highlighting on those uh, armor panels and uh, the metals and all the other little details. I love that the lenses, as I mentioned in the early part of the video, that uh, they're obviously green and red, respectively, on the alternate sides of the uh, helm. So you've obviously got a green lens on that side and then you've got a red lens on that side. Just really, really well done. Uh, just a lovely set of miniatures. And then let's have a look at the sergeant, the bareheaded sergeant from these uh, eradicators. Again, you can just see uh, all the sort of eyes and everything all fully painted on there. He's got a bionic eye that's been painted green also. Uh, and if we move around, you can see every little bit of detail fully painted and highlighted. Uh, and do really like these brazen claw pads that our client has uh, sent into us also. Uh, so that's the eradicators and uh, the final pieces of this force. Do hope that you like them ever so much. Uh, and if you like the army across all the miniatures that you've seen, uh, I'll see you very soon on the next one. Take care. Bye bye. So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. 
From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.